Hey YouTube, what's up? Milma here again with another Xcode tutorial on if statements. Now if statements are extremely, extremely important and they are used loads in code, so you need to know them basically. Um, now this is a follow on tutorial from my change label tutorial. Uh, if you haven't already seen that, click on this link here and uh, it should take you to it. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So I'm going to open my change label uh, project from last video and uh, I'm going to go into the change label main uh, file. Now here's our action that we created last time. Now what I'm going to do with this if statement is I'm going to change the colour of the text if it equals this. right? So basically if the label.text equals that then it's going to change colour. So underneath this line, make sure it's underneath this line, we're going to put go if, and then it should auto complete for you. Now press enter, and in these two brackets here, we're going to type label.text, now double equals. Now double equals means is equal to. So basically, if we read that line again, it goes if label.text is equal to, and now we're going to put our uh, ha I have changed, make sure it's exactly identical to this, hence why I'm copy and pasting it. So I'm going to copy and paste it in there, and then close the quotes. Now, if we go down to where it says statements inside the two curly brackets, we're going to go label.text and then color. Then we're going to, so this is changing the color of the text now. Space equals space, and then it's going to be open square brackets, UI color, whatever color. So I'm going to change it to, let's say, red color. And then close the square brackets, put a semicolon, uh, save, and we can build and run and see how it, uh, how it goes. So as you can see, here's a label. Now, when we press this button, the text should change and go red. And yes, it has. As you can see, it's gone red. Now, we can change the color of this. If we uh, just go back and uh, delete the red, we can go Escape, and Escape will bring up all the possible colors we can get. As you can see, there are loads. There's dark gray, magenta, yellow, purple. I'm going to try purple just for the uh, sake of it. And uh, we'll build again. <coughs> And uh, we'll see we'll see what happens. So now you can see if we put press me, see it's now a purple colour. So you can have a play around with that. And uh, thanks guys, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, leave me a comment if you want any specific tutorials for me to do. See you soon.